single Liberator bomber of the United States 13th Air Force bombs and strafes Japanese oil fields in North Borneo. The lone plane makes seven runs over the target, starting many fires. On this daring mission over the region that produces 40% of Japanese oil, one bomber alone takes heavy toll of the resources of the Pacific enemy. Europe, American planes assault a German air base, fighting off Nazi air opposition. The German airfield is ripped by bullets. Planes explode on the ground. Representatives of the 5th Army's 92nd Infantry Division stand in battle formation in a formal decoration ceremony. Members of every unit receive awards from the 5th Army's new commander, Lieutenant General Lucian Truscott. The decorations range from the infantryman's badge to the Legion of Merit. General Truscott, accompanied by the 92nd Division Commander, General Almond, reviews the troops, all of them frontline soldiers in the Battle of Italy. Arriving at an advanced China air base is Major General Albert C. Wiedemeyer, new commander of American forces in China and chief of staff to Chiang Kai-shek. On a three-day tour of the front, General Wiedemeyer inspects units ready to go into action in the Yunnan area. In Chongqing, Major General Patrick Hurley, newly named Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to China, pays his first official call on Generalissimo Chang. A former United States Secretary of War and most recently President Roosevelt's special representative, General Hurley is warmly welcomed by China's leader. Near the Mussolini pylon, an army rest center becomes the training camp for the Allied Boxing Championships. American, British, and French soldiers from African and Italian zones complete training for a week-long boxing tournament. Corporal Billy Kahn, former world champion, aids the contestants. A fast and furious fight in the welterweight division. United States Private Larry Cisneros, and French Private Omar Coudry before 3,000 service spectators. The winner, Coudry of France. Marcel Serdan, French Army boxing idol, in a match with United States Sergeant Ralph Burnley. Serdar wins in a rousing finish. Friendly rivalry in sports between staunch allies in battle. A small-scale model of a new Army Air Force's flying bomb. A flying missile with tremendous destructive power. In production at a United States automobile plant, a compressed air container is installed for control of the steering mechanism. Then the wing bomb itself is completed. A rocket engine made in Detroit is added. Gasoline and air in rapid explosions furnish the propelling force. In stationary tests, the rocket motor shows its power.
Now, for the first time, pictures of the launching of a flying bomb. The rocket booster helps get it into the air and is dropped as the speeding bomb heads toward its target. for the Philippines. In heavy combat off the island of Mindoro, a landing armada fights off attacking Japanese planes. On Mindoro, due south of Luzon, airfields are rushed to completion for the support of coming operations. Rapidly, as American planes come in during enemy bombardment, a climax in the Philippines battle approaches. A P-38 fighter makes a harrowing crash landing. But the pilot escapes. Now striking for Manila from Lingayen Gulf, Luzon Island, General MacArthur's forces take a decisive step forward. The largest armed convoy in Pacific history, carrying 100,000 troops, unloads off Luzon under cover of smashing shell fire. The shoreline of Luzon, strategic battleground whose every ridge and stream is intimately known to the American Army. General Kruger's 6th Army troops wade in to solid ground. The first beachheads are secured. On the beaches of Luzon, equipment piles up in mass for the push inland. The first evacuation hospitals care for the wounded, among the many Filipinos who flock to the shore to welcome the landing troops. Luzon guerrillas aid the advance. Japanese defense units fled to the hills the night before the landings. Now, en route to San Carlos on the drive south, mechanized equipment follows the only good direct road to Manila. Important bridges have been blown, but the Manai Toll Bridge is already back in use again. From another section of the beach, troops head up the Dagopan River toward the town of Dagopan, east of Lingayen. Here, native resistance forces have already raised the flag as the American forces enter on their route to seal off the enemy in northern Luzon. Liberated Filipino citizens hail the arrival of the troops. The long-awaited hour of deliverance is at hand. 